Dikembe Mutombo is one of the most celebrated players in National Basketball Association history, with a career spanning more than 18 years in the league. He ranks second in the NBA's all-time shot blocking list and is still ranked among the all-time leaders in double-doubles. He's kept himself busy since retiring in 2009, taking his trademark finger wag to become a pitch man for the likes of Geico. Not in my house. <laughs> ramping up his humanitarian efforts and investing his money in a wide range of projects from retail to oil and gas exploration and now tech startups in Canada. There are people coming, I'm sure, all the time with different ideas, all sorts, I would imagine. Certainly now there's so many startups around the world. It's an exciting time. It's very exciting. But how do you make that decision on what companies you want to get involved with? By finding your passion. You have to do your own research. You have to do more diligent work. For like, I'll give an example of Flipgave. Why did I feel that I should invest in Flipgave? Why did I feel that I need to go around and speak about Flipgave? Because I find a passion on the work Flipgave is doing. I saw the million, million people that Flipgave is reaching up. I've seen the difference that Flipgave is bringing to the community that is solving some of the problem that our world is facing, then I want to be part of it. That's why I say I want to be part of this. It's a great business. It's a great initiative. And I felt that I can also be a spokesperson for that company by bringing more people in, by bringing the initiative to them and tell them, hey, my friends, you are struggling here. You can find a solution of your problem by becoming part of Flipgave. With your community, with your team, with uh, the youth club that you are helping, you guys can raise money here through Flipgave. It's a great, you know. And it feels like an evolution for someone of your stature. Yes. Early in your career, you know, it feels like maybe the opportunities were as the spokesperson. You know, let me endorse this drink or this food, but today, you have the chance to invest in a company. You can, yes. I guess, be a spokesperson of sorts, but this is really with more skin in the game. Yes, because <clears throat> it's good to be a spokesperson, but sometimes it's good to have your foot in, to know what is going on. Because you can be a swimmer. You can go swim in any pool. But sometimes it's good to know how deep is this pool. I know I always swim here, but that deep it is. You want to study that pool a little bit. You want to be part of that pool. Why do you always succeed in that pool? And I think um, my approach to anything that I'm doing in my life is I don't want just being a spokesperson for any business no more. I think I have done the I made that decision like I've been almost like five, six years now. I said, when I was playing ball, it was good that you just give me money and I'll go and do your commercial now. But if I know by doing the commercial, we triple your profit or quadruple your profit, yeah, I want to be part of that too. I want to be part of that food that is being cooked in the kitchen. I don't want to talk about, hey, guys, they're making good cake up here. You can come buy them. No, I want to go back after I tell people in the street that that cake is good, that they're making there. I myself, I want to go back to the kitchen and eat that cake too. That's what I'm doing now. I want to be part of the people who are going to taste the piece of cake. Not just to talk about the cake, but I'm going to eat a piece of cake too. You're making me hungry with all this cake. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything in business that you haven't yet done that you'd still like to do? Your name has come up in the past as, you know, maybe a sports team owner. Is there anything that hasn't oh, come yeah. up the plate yet that you'd like to do? There's a lot of, there's a lot of initiative that uh, I'm looking at. Um, I'm investing in uh, oil and gas right now, um, building a couple of wells. Um, but I want to see the business grow, uh, what we are doing with uh, my partners in the U.S. Uh, 
we are now doing some of the stuff in Wyoming, Nebraska, and maybe we might jump in Texas. But I want to go in some of those lands where there's more oil that has not been discovered. Um, there's still a lot of countries in Africa where the oil has been found that are looking for investors and are looking for a great person to be also the spokesman. I think I have the platform to get to those initiatives, to get to those business, where no just to come and take oil from those countries or do business there. Also bring some of the good initiatives that I'm very passionate about, about hospital, healthcare, Special Olympics. Talk about some of the problems that facing the society, not just the problem that how can we create money? How can we make money and um, go do something with? But what the people who are living in those communities, what their problem? Not just they need, they need money. You can have money, but you still can have a lot of problems. Because we see a lot of people who have million, million dollars, but you still are not happy because there's some of the problems that have not been solved. Final question for you. The finger wag. No, no, no. Is there a trademark business opportunity here? It's still a trademark business opportunity. If you look at every one of the commercials that I've done lately since I retired, a lot got to do with no, no, no. Not today, not to my house. So you saw Exxon, you saw Agaco, you know, any commercial now I'm doing, every company is asking me, we need that finger wag. Do you own that finger? Of course. Anyone who's trying to use it need to still have to ask me. Need to ask a permission. You might not need to pay me. Just let me know. Hey, Dikembe, we're going to be doing this in our commercial because otherwise I'm going to come back after you. Tell you what are you doing. That's not your logo. Leave my things alone.